These recruits are 36 hours away from officially becoming United States Marines. But to get there, they have to fight each other first. Break his Using hand-to-hand -hand combat in an event called the Battle of Belo Wood. We get no these a lot? No, sir. It's just one of several tests recruits complete during their final challenge of boot camp, a 54-hour gauntlet called the Crucible. At some point, you need to engage the enemy. At some point, you are going to be face-to-face -face with somebody through all these conditions, and you're still going to have to be aggressive enough to win. During boot camp, Marine Corps recruits learn 17 different fighting styles, from Taekwondo to Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, as part of the Marine Corps Martial Arts Program, or McMap. So strike harder! Recruits learn techniques like hammer fists and delivering knees to the body when a fight has gone to the ground. And all of that comes to a head during the Battle of Belo Wood, where they go toe-to-toe -to -toe with their fellow recruits. Everything that takes place during the Crucible is considered a tactical evolution. When you break down the subcontext of, of what they're doing, they're either fighting for their lives or they're fighting to subdue someone else. One recruit has a considerable advantage. My name is Montserrat Carmona Correa from Dallas, Texas. Recruit Carmona Correa entered boot camp with the unique experience of a semi-pro boxing career. I have her, she has a wicked hook when it comes to sparring. I started when I was 15. My record's 13 fights, 11 wins, two losses. Out of the 11 wins, I have two knockouts. I'm trying to go to the Olympics and then eventually turn pro. According to Carmona Correa, her training emphasizes body shots, uppercuts, and hooks. Do you feel like you have an unfair advantage over your fellow recruits? Yes, I take it more like playing around. Are you afraid you're gonna hurt somebody? Yes, sir. Recruits face off in a structure known as the octagon. They'll have headgear, they'll have gloves, and they'll also be wearing like a flak jacket. I think it's meant to kind of get them prepared for any aspects of combat. You could be fighting an enemy that you don't really know anything about. Although they know each other and they're in a platoon together, there are still a lot of things they don't know about each other, their capabilities. I think this is a way to just kind of keep them on their toes and keep them cognizant of their actions or the other person's actions. The gym instructors, they always tell me to go hard and to keep punching. Although recruits wear headgear, punches to the head are strictly prohibited. Body shots. Body shots. If I take a shot at your head, you might get a concussion, you might get knocked out, especially because I'm cold, I'm tired, I'm fatigued. So I'm much more susceptible to injuries. Occasional accidents occur. You get no a lot? No, sir. Medics stand by in case of injuries. All right, now I gotta throw this gear away. Finally, it's Carmona Correa's turn to enter the octagon. Body shot! Body shot! Body shot! Body shot! Body! Yes! Body! Body! Recruits spar for about 60 seconds. Get her! 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 The instructor judges the match on technique, effectiveness, and effort. And then declares a winner and a loser. Going stay dressed, get stay dressed. Carmona Correa, the winner, exits through a hatch labeled Devil Dogs. Winner, get out. Please get out. No, no, no. While the loser is sent to the penalty box. 
front leg. Get your foot down. Face to the front. I am. You get down. I'm out. Front no, leg. I'm you get down. I am. Your hands are shut with apart. I am. Your head is to the front. I am. Get up. Go away. If the recruits aren't making a strong enough effort, they're both declared losers. Take us in! You both lose, get out. Strike! Thirty. Strike! I think about who wants it more. Who is willing to mentally push themselves and their bodies out of their comfort zone to accomplish a mission. And I think pushing through all that adversity to accomplish that is a perfect venue for, uh, for those martial arts skills. Having successfully completed the Battle of Bellow Wood, these recruits are now ready to conquer the remainder of the Crucible and become United States Marines. Thank you.